everyone. So I know this is such a different video um, or start to a video than I normally do, but I wanted to take you guys along for this. If you guys saw my cloth diaper organization video, um, you guys would know that I keep all of our cloth diapers right now in a dresser drawer, but I'm kind of getting sick and tired of it. A, there's not enough room and there's not enough room for the kids' clothes if I'm using up two full drawers and then some for clothes or for diapers. Um, when they need that dresser for their clothes. B, I kind of have stuff everywhere with this system. I have their normal diapers in one, in those two drawers. I have their overnight diapers in a different drawer in their room. I have Audrey's potty trainers in the bathroom. I have my newborn diapers in a thing in the closet and I've got wet bags scattered everywhere. We actually have this extra bookcase that's right now filled with crap that we don't need. We've kind of just used it as like a catch-all for the last couple months. And I'm gonna take it and I'm going to use it as diaper storage inspired by Jess's Bluff because that girl's amazing. Um, plus, I don't have a huge stash right now, or at least not what I can, would consider huge. Like, uh, it's not like I've reached 100 diapers or anything, not even close yet. So, to me, this is very, very reasonable size of stash. But tomorrow, well, for you guys, it's gonna be in the past, but for me, it's tomorrow. I haven't filmed the video yet. I'm filming a fluff mail haul and that's going to be adding about 10 diapers to my stash. Uh, so I need more room and I'm sick and tired of having everything everywhere. So this is what I'm gonna do and I'm gonna put it in my living room, which might be kind of weird, but that's how it's gonna go. It's not even really in my living room because like I'm, right now I'm standing in my living room. I know this is like such a vloggy type video. This is my living room with my mismatched furniture and over here behind this pillar on this wall is where it's going to go. That's my box of newborn diapers right there. So I thought this would be fun to take you guys along through organizing that little uh, bookcase to uh, washing out some copies that I'm going to be using for organizing to transferring everything over. I just thought it'd be fun because I'm about to do some diaper laundry. Like I just, I thought this would be fun because it's cloth diaper related, it's house making related, it's cleaning related, it's every it's everything related to this channel. So I thought I'd take you guys along for the ride even though it's gonna be a weird vlog style video. So hope you guys enjoy seeing my face. I know it's super loud in here, but I found these little fabric bins in my laundry room. Um, I'm just washing them out and like de-staining them right now. But I figured I might as well use these and see if the system works before I buy ones that actually matches the rest of my house, if you know what I mean. No point to go spend money if I already have something and I can test out how the system works. I'm thinking I'll probably end up doing like fitteds and pre-folds in one and then the other either potty training supplies or newborn stuff. This is the bookshelf. I'm going to start cleaning this out. Like, like you can probably tell, like this is not stuff we need. Like. Games, we could easily find a spot for in the bookshelf that's in our living room. My husband's books from when he went to school two years ago. First aid kit, we could obviously find a different spot for. Uh, what is this? Looks like stuffed toys. Probably ones I was planning on giving away. Extra pack of disposable wipes. Audrey's DVD player. Another DVD player. A nursing cover. I don't nurse, so I... I that's useless. More textbooks. <laughs> a computer that doesn't work. A basket full of stuff that looks like I could also get rid of it. Like I said, it's kind of become a catch-all in my house, so I'm gonna start decluttering that, and I'm gonna go finish de-staining the bin first. Okay, so I've got these sitting, drying out. Um, if you're wondering what I used to get the stains out, it's this bunch of farms stain remover stick. It's cloth diaper safe. It's awesome, it's all natural, and it smells like lemons. It's so easy to use, plus it's like two bucks a stick, and it lasts forever. I've, I'm still on the same stick that I opened over a year ago, so highly recommend it. Wanna know my number one pet peeve? I know some people complain about me talking too loud in my videos, but my number one complaint is when people talk so low that even on the highest volume, I can barely hear them. Like, come on, at least if, like to me, at least if I'm talking loud, you can turn it down, but you can't turn it up past max. Drives me nuts. And it happens especially a lot with cloth diaper videos, weirdly enough. I've found more like too quiet to hear videos in the cloth diaper community than I have watching any other type of video. It's so weird. Got a video going, make this a little bit more entertaining. Smile that makes the sun rise. You make it shine. But I can see that you don't realize. And that's what made me fall in love. Cause you gotta stay in the way your body makes my heart beat sound. It's amazing all the time. You are the only thing I need in life. Oh, I want you.
so it is now empty. Now I'm going to give it a nice wipe down and then move it. So I'm using the Method All-Purpose uh, Pink Grapefruit Spray, if you're wondering. My regular camera died, so you guys get my old camera quality. I apologize. Um, but we have a dilemma. Um, I want to do it up against this wall right here where Lane has moved it. But it turns out that A, I wouldn't be able to film in front of it because of this pole. And B, we now have a huge gap right here that we don't really know what to do with. Um, so yeah. Lane thinks we should put it back. I'm kind of feeling that too. I don't really like it being over here. But over there, there, I just don't think it's going to work. So this is Audrey's potty training box. As of right now, I have her best bottoms trainer, which I want to get more of these. I don't know if I'm going to build up a trainer stash. But I'll talk to you guys all about that in a potty training update. So, there we go. Organized all nice. Put that right in there. I think it's gonna shape up well. I think I'm gonna be really, really happy with how this turns out. So this is the setup. I don't have a whole lot of diapers to show you right now because like I said, I'm doing diaper laundry. I'm in desperate need. Like I I, I left it a long time, which I shouldn't have, but I did. Um so Everett only has like four diapers clean. Audrey has one daytime diaper clean. I'm definitely pushing it down here, like I showed you guys got my very limited newborn stash which I'll build up whenever we decide to have another baby got diaper accessories and extra pre-folds fitted and inserts in here then potty training I'll show you guys tomorrow morning when everything's set up better so this is how it turned out with the diapers I'm so so happy with how it turned out um, so up here we have Audrey's shelf so Audrey's daytime diapers um, and these are extra cloth wipes and I will spray so I can do diaper changes out here which is fantastic we have Everett's night uh, daytime diapers and a diaper cover that still needs an insert which is drying I have Audrey's nighttime diapers but I don't have a whole lot right now <laughs> And then Everett's nighttime diapers. Once again, I don't have those because they're in the wash. So, yeah, very, very happy with how it turned out. You got a smile that makes the sun.